Welcome back, dear viewer, to the hamlet of Hexham, as it is still in its youth, with only four residing in its halls. Well, six, including the two blood bags, Azalea and Alf. Edith works diligently on sewing together parkas from the fur of various creatures that have fallen so far. Lelion sees to Ben, who still suffers from paralytic abrasia. She tries to keep the poor man sane. And Jonathan, although slightly injured still, continues to hunt the various wildlife out in the crater. As until this point, their meal of choice has been hard to come by. But as we know, in Rimworld, that never lasts for too long now, does it? No. As outside, to the north, enemies approach. Oh, and I know I said enemies, but it's it's just an enemy. We have reindeer. And it seems as though reindeer isn't quite ready to attack. And you know what? That works just fine for me. As there has been some changes since you've seen this place last, we now have a little grizzly cub. And we managed to purchase a ram and a ewe from a nomadic trader. The two animals are actually considered venerated in our ideologian. In the Hexham of old, sheep helped these three survive when times were tougher and humans were few and far between. But seen as we already have two blood bags, I'd have to say things are not looking so good for reindeer. Kia ora, legionnaires. Rikon here. And welcome back to Rimworld Biotech, where we are still waiting on Reindeer to make his move. Oh, and there we go. The Neanderthals from Wu Sold are beginning their attack. Reindeer is not just a regular human, he is a Neanderthal. Their most salient characteristic is that they are difficult to hurt. They have strong immune systems that protect them from infection. Right. Well, reindeer, we are going to be taking the fight to you. And I don't think it's going to take too much here for Lilion to be able to do what she does rather well. Let's look at striking you down. And Jonathan, let's get a little closer just so that you don't accidentally hit Lilion there. And already, already reindeer is down. Edith, you can just go back inside. We're fine. I appreciate you bringing the animals out. Reindeer. Let's look at that bio. You are a cannibal, which is great, but you're also a slow learner, a slow poke, a pyromaniac, and a rebel. All these things aren't great. They, they really aren't. You also have the psychic death knell. Interesting. So what we're going to do here, first of all, is feed from you. I think if we feed twice, we end up killing reindeer, but that's going to give you a fair bit of hemorrhage in there. And let's see. Yeah, so that would kill him. I would like us to try and use the psychic death knell to absorb psychic energy from reindeer here. And there we are. Okay, look at that. Just right smack bang all the way up. Okay, we like that. And now, ah, oh, <laughs> we probably should have stripped you first. We probably should have stripped you first. Well, let's go do that. Let's do that now. You've still got some useful things on you. The Psychi T will be taking that. And, uh, yep, Jonathan is about to start to whip up some of our favorite meals. And speaking of meals, we don't actually have a lot in the way of food. And we are going to need food. We have two prisoners here that we're trying to keep alive. We have Ben, who is, uh, well, still suffering from paralytic abrasia and will be for a long while. We're in fall, and so it is cold enough outside now that we're going to have trouble growing things. We might be able to start trying to grow indoors if we're using things like mushrooms and the like. I am looking at that as an option. Oh, you're just going to eat raw human meat. Well, there we go. So we, we definitely need to look at uh, what we have around. We do have these woolly rhinoceroses. They can attack as a group, though, and that's kind of scary. And I think that they're really, well, other than the mammoths, the only things on the map that we can actually look at hunting. You know what? That one is all by itself. We are still warmed up, so let's just head on over towards it, and we'll see if this is going to be even remotely possible. Hey, we've got some animals to back us up. 
that's a good thing. We may very well need that. So let's have a look at attacking. We're going to get Jonathan to attack as well. We'll get him a little bit closer before he does attack. And we'll actually just say kind of release the animals. And we'll see how this goes. As Lilion, hopefully, will take the bulk of this attack here. Oh, Sinner's getting into the mix as well. I mean, all the animals are there. Jonathan, get a little closer, please. Okay. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. We'll let you all go and relax. And we'll just check on the others. Okay. Phew. <laughs> we are good. That is a successful hunt. Jonathan, let's go and finish this thing off. There we go. Done. Thank you. Now, let's go get that butchered and make some meals. Speaking of meals, we are working on a dining hall over here with Edith. We have the individual eating spaces, but it would be nice to have a group area that they can congregate. They may be, you know, vampiric, but they still need to eat, and that's a significant amount of meat. And it's also a not so insignificant amount of heavy fur. Thank you, Jonathan. We appreciate you whipping up those meals. Oh, okay. New lovers. New lovers. Jonathan and Lillian. They want to sleep together. Consider assigning them a double bed. Uh, you know what? They've already got it. Lillian still has this for her death resting, but uh, they've got this room now for other activities. Speaking of other activities, Lillian you can implant genes. So looking at this, implanting this person's Xeno genes into a willing subject using a special injector organ. Okay. <laughs> if this person's genes are currently regrowing, the implant will cause them to die. But thankfully, that is not the case. Lilion is okay. So let's take the two of them. Uh, we will, you know, go for a little bit of privacy here. And we will have a look at how this works. Okay. There we are. Genes replanted. And having a look at your health there. Yeah, genes are regrowing. So she still has all the benefits of being a sanguifage, but she can't make another for 1.7 years. Which means that, you know, she was probably in cryo sleep for a little while after being turned. Jonathan now is a sanguifage. Yes, you are. You've got blood feed, you've got coagulate, you should have everything there. You're also pretty now, you're a fast walker. Okay, and that melee has shot up as well. So originally I was considering uh, turning Edith into the Sanguifage next, purely just because, well, she has fantastic melee, and that is definitely important. But I think with them being lovers, it just kind of makes sense. Lillian, maybe we go and rescue your new lover here. Yeah, she's also dropped off her uranium plate armor. Didn't realize it was uranium, but it's also awful. It's awful plate armor. Uh, so the reason she had that at the start was it was to represent what she was wearing beforehand uh, in going medieval. I, yeah, it, it obviously has degraded over the years here. And plus, now with that Parker on, she shouldn't be suffering from the cold, which she actually was before. Edith, are you? No, you're okay currently. And I think that's probably because of the cape. But now we have two Sanguifages. Oh boy. Before I forget, we're also just going to chuck a ritual spot down outside as, uh, oh, we can already do some things. Elysium. So that's a dance party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which I am trying to get us set up for at the moment. We're looking at getting down some drums. We'll have speakers and whatnot down the line, but that's going to be once we have a better power system sorted. With this, though, we can call to the sire by releasing lanterns into the sky, hoping that the sire will return. Although, I don't think that's going to happen. And plus, we can't do this for 21 days. So we'll keep our eyes out for when that opportunity arises. And there we are, Edith. Three Parkers for all of us. Oh, Ben. Ben. Ben is up and about. Okay. Well, that's great. Let's have a look at your bio again. So you're good at mining. You're good at melee. A delicate brawler, of course. And you believe in fidelism. We are going to try and see if we can change that. And we can do that over here by beginning a... Oh, okay conversion ritual it's not great though the room impressiveness is pretty terrible 25% is not 
that's not good. Edith, how about we just go and try and do just a regular old, um, let's see, conversion. Also, oh, you're wearing reindeer's hat. It's a good look. I suppose you're not that concerned about it being tainted. Although they do still care if... Of course, yes, because they have bloodlust, something else that's kind of carried on over from going medieval. We're looking at a 7.9 reduction here. That is not a lot. But I suppose we have to start somewhere, don't we? Now, we could imprison Ben and try and convert him that way, and that probably would be the fastest way to do it. But right now, having the extra hands, I see that helping us more. A mad here. Okay, well, I guess the food is coming to us today. I trust you can handle this, Lillian. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You got a little injured there. Nothing that you can't recover yourself. And now we've got a royal tribute collector from the Empire of Eternity. This is a chance for us to get more honor. Should we be okay with trading one or more of our blood bags? And you know what? <laughs> You know what? We might actually be on board with doing that. But then again, we do have two sanguifages now, and I'm not sure how much blood we are actually going to need. We have a significant amount, but stockpiling more would be better. Let's have a look at this anyway. It's a mega sloth called Rojo. Rojo, I'm sorry, we just need the food more. (laughs) And as for the Royal Tribute Collectors, we're not going to tussle with them. We're still trying to earn a little bit of favor with the Lords of the Land. But right now, yeah, we're not going to be trading. They are only going to take gold or people. And a binge party. Lilion is suggesting a binge party. We don't actually have that much in the way of drugs. I think we had a, a few Psychite teas, and that's, that's it. And I think we'll have even less now as Edith has been going on a psychite binge. I think she's just a little upset that she wasn't chosen first. Oh, right, there were things to binge. Our food. They're binging the food. Well, fine. (laughs) And Jonathan's back up on his feet. He's recovered from, well, that somewhat traumatic rebirth. The deserter. A new quest is available for us. Hmm, a child spy is calling from nearby. She has deserted the army of the Empire of Eternity as as being hunted by a loyalty squad. So this would make the Empire um, aggressive towards us. We'd have one year to attack the outpost before it's moved. We're not going to start that fight. Not for, um, yeah, this unknown. Sorry, you're on your own. Well, Jonathan is rather successfully hunting down a number of wild boar that have just wandered into the area. Or rather, they were... Oh, they're still here. They're just amongst this massive herd of muffalo, which we could try to fight, but yeah, we don't want to set them all off at once. And we have a visitor. Hello, Otto. I wonder what you have to trade. Surely not all that much. And surprisingly enough, Lilion is actually becoming our socialite more so than Edith so I think we're going to have her have a chat with Otto and an anesthetic gun hmm intriguing if we want to try and you know keep more people alive and you have some proper medicine too I think we'll probably just try and sell off our capes and make a little bit of a profit now I don't know if we are actually going to have any fish in this lake here we are going to put a few fish traps out in the hopes that we might actually be able to catch some over time. Well, it looks like we've had a little bit of a injury over here. Our bear is injured. Oh, we can't coagulate? Ah, oh, you can. Oh, there we go. All right, hang on, grizzly bear four? Oh, oh, that's a, that's another grizzly. Oh, that is another grizzly. Oh, yikes, we've got, <laughs> we got quite a few now. Oh boy, okay, Lilion is in need of death rest, and it's got to be soon. It's got to be really soon, otherwise you're just going to start getting exhausted. So, to be able to allow for that, we need to decide what we're going to do in terms of power. A wood fire generator would be able to provide us enough power. It only needs 100 watts. I mean, even, hmm, even a single wind turbine should be enough to do that. Although, obviously, it can it can run out. The wind is not always going, so 
I think we're going to have to get this generator up and running. And temporarily, it will just be built in here. The generator is working away. Now, that's not going to kill us, right? We're not going to die of carbon monoxide poisoning. I'm sure it's fine. Let's go start that death rest now, Lilion. We don't have anything else attached to it. I just want to see naturally what that looks like for us. There we go. She is arresting. And we'll put her on auto wake so that she'll get up when she is uh, rested enough. We are now officially in winter. As it looks like outside, ooh, that temperature is getting down a lot. Minus 33 degrees C. Her death rest isn't complete at this stage, but I'm going to see if we can wake her up early. Ah, I see. Sick for days while she recovers. You know what? Just, just chill. You're okay. We'll let you get your full rest in. I don't know how this has happened, but somehow Azalea got completely naked and is now suffering from frostbite and just a whole heap of bad stuff. You know what, Alf? Kind of the same deal. I think it's time. Yes, Lilion will be missing this, but well, let's hope he gets something out of it. Hey, it was actually satisfying. We'll take a satisfying execution. Oh, and <laughs> another affection on Azalea. Yeah, unfortunately, she will not be able to uh, attend an execution. So, yeah, it's got to be done. Rather to save us from having to do the act ourselves, we'll just kind of just wait just a little bit. Let things happen naturally. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> That's that dealt with. Huh. The fish traps have actually been working out for us. We'll make sure that we actually get them hauled back. We can use that to make sure that we keep our bears fed too. And we've got two visitors. Hmm. All right, Edith, we'll be sending you out to have a little bit of a chat with them. So I wouldn't be against us selling our awful plate armor. It is still plate armor. It's decent armor. But you know what? I feel like we might need some other things a little bit more. Yeah. We'll take all their pemmican for now. Oh, we do actually have some left over. Hmm. In actual fact, we don't need to sell that. We can just sell our other crap that we've got. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, Lilion is awake. Back up from the death rest and uh, taking care of our sheep. Aren't you a good one? Oh boy. <laughs> Wait, what? Ben's fiance was Alf. I am... So sorry, Ben. I I had no idea. Uh, uh, I when did that happen? I'm guessing it must have been earlier on. They didn't become fiancés while they were here. Well, um, there we go. I suppose. Well, you're doing pretty good, all things considered. I am I'm proud of how you are rising above the grief. Amazing. We can make a human leather fishing net. Uh, and that's precisely what we're going to do. Jonathan, head on out there and work on that for us, thanks. Improvise, adapt, overcome, and yeah, make a fishing net out of your foes. That'll keep our bears nice and fed, won't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll keep our eye on that one. Safeguarding an aristocrat. What do we have here? Mmm, that's a significant number. Aha. Uh -huh. Troy Ean, a yeoman of the Empire of Eternity, is fleeing a troubling political situation and wants to hide out in Hexam for seven days. Her enemies have been hired to hunt her. There will be two raids of strength times two, and that's their size. That's a significant number of enemies. Ooh, we could get a person to join us, a cave child. Are you actually a child? Hard to know. But we do want more people here at Hexham. That, though, is more than a little frightening. I think as long as we can kind of bait them inside, we'd have the upper hand. Or, well, something of a hand. Makes me nervous. Oh, two cataphracts will be placed under our control. I like it. Let's accept. Except for the extra person. And you're the one that we're protecting, okay? Let's just make sure that we change these beds from, you know, prisoner beds to colonist beds. There we go. You guys can use those. We got Isaac 
and we got uh, Chara Lampos, our Cataphrax. Oh, a bio-coded minigun and a uh, bio-coded charge shotgun. Right. Well, we'll keep our eyes out for the enemy as we continue to beautify this place. And no doubt we'll be able to make use of having some others around. Or maybe, maybe not. No, it doesn't, that doesn't look like we can. Okay, that's fine. Oh, dear. Um, our guests have gotten into a social fight with each other. I'm sure it'll turn out just fine. Don't murder each other. Come on. All right, you'll, you'll live. Actually, you got pretty wrecked there. You both did. Well, we'll give you treatment, but we'll make sure that it's just, um, you know, kissing of boo-boos. We don't want to be wasting any resources on them, and you know what? I don't think we have any... Oh no, we do. 14, that's something. The bears know what's good. They really like to hang around our fish traps out here. I mean, keeps them fed. The thing that gets me excited about this raid that we have coming up is that there's going to be people, and people means bodies and... Well, it's going to make at least these three rather happy. Ben doesn't like eating people yet. Yet. But that will change. There's lots of stuff that we need to do ideologian-wise before we're able to add that. I think the next precept is probably going to be cannibal if we can. Also, hmm, I suppose we could give this a shot now. 60%. It's certainly a better chance. We just don't have that many participants. We'll wait until the morning. All right. Oh. A 75% chance now. Much better. Let's go for it. Everyone, sit your asses down. And Edith is going to speak about uniting for the greater good. And soon they will all be united. By blood, that is. The blood of Bethent. And, okay, a masterful conversion ritual. Hot damn. Okay, so due to the quality of the ritual, we have an extra two development points now. Uh, we need 10 before we can really do anything, but that's good still. And everyone gets plus six mood. And looking at Ben, no way. He's... Wow. So he had like 100% in his other ideologian, which was Fidelism? Yeah. That is wild. Edith, thank you. Oh, it's a significant amount of research, and it's quite an upgrade in terms of research. But well, we could go for geothermal power. Yeah, Lilion's really getting some interesting ideas from the stars above or maybe it's the blood that is speaking to her i mean it's right out here i think we're going to spend the research or rather the time to research it and don't worry occasionally we will have messages that talk about our animals being hungry we need to wait until they get really hungry before we can feed them just regular meaty meals okay they're here the raiders are here and there are five of them and you're completely blue, sir. And you're... Okay, interesting. Interesting. These are wolf people, seemingly. Yet again, they descend from colonists engineered to thrive on ultra-cold planets. Their great size and fur makes them hardy in frozen environments. Yet it can share a psychic connection with the wildlife and can summon animals to their side during battle. They are not fast or energetic or precise, but they can keep going when others would have collapsed long before. Well, this is the first group, the first five. Hmm. Well, we're going to set ourselves up outside, ready to fight. Ben is rocking two axes at the moment. And you know what? We'll try and see if we can take care of them from a distance before we really unload on them. Lillian, I oh, used to have a ways to get back. Oh, and they're going to try and attack our fish traps, huh? Well, no, we're not going to have that. Let's move up on them. I think we might try and use this area here. Well, I was going to say it's cover, but we don't really need cover, do we? We're just going to all hold back for a moment. And you know what? I feel like a combat command around here would go down very well and we are going to send our attack animals out and you know what let's uh let's do some melee attacking we'll just go search and destroy there's that combat command okay search and destroy on you too Lillian oh boy okay you know what yeah let's let's kind of move around the side here a little bit minigun off towards there Jonathan you should be safe where you are currently good good easy does it Ben nearly got murdered then watch yourself with the charge weapons jeepers we're our own worst enemy here ah there we go okay that's that's them dealt with right 
Oh, no, we got Mila all the way up there, who is running scared. That's fine. So obviously Ben is in a bad way. Edith too, uh, it's mostly from cuts. Oh, his ear was cut off, my dude. Okay, you know what, Jonathan, let's get you to move up here. We're gonna get you to coagulate Ben, and then Edith, oh, you're down. Okay, yeah, let's go and coagulate Edith. As for the survivors here, uh, it doesn't look like they're gonna be surviving for long. Our bears are hungry. Jonathan, we are just going to strip each of these individuals here, and then we'll make use of them. In saying that, I will look to see if there are any that really jump out at me as amazing. But no, no, they shall all go in the pot. And I think that may make <laughs> our guests upset. We'll see, I'm, I, they'll be fine, they'll be fine. Oh, and someone please rescue Ben. <laughs> there's not gonna be a lot of uh, weigh-in left after, oh, I mean, there's still some, there's still some. Thank you, Jonathan, that's a significant amount of, I suppose, yep, still human meat. And look at that, they aren't, they aren't upset. They aren't upset that we butchered people. They are upset that they ate human meat. We'll keep that in mind. Psychic suppression for pay. Hmm. I think we'll probably sit on this one. I'd like it for the hyperweave and or the revolver, but we'll wait until we've dealt with this lot first. Look at this. Look what we have made together. Yep, it is a light ball. A, yeah, laser light ball something that was embedded into the mind of Lilion. Along with these loud speakers here, we're going to be able to throw down with an Elysium. A 98% expected quality is pretty damn decent. Unfortunately, Ben isn't going to be able to join us because he's kind of having a sad wonder at the moment. But look at that. <laughs> we can dance, we can have a good time, and, uh, you know, just uh, take a load off. Oh, and yeah... We'll have to deal with that mad here, but we'll we'll see if we can finish this first. The doors are closed. We'll be all right. And we've nearly completed it. In just a moment, the dance will be done. And it is. And it was a fun Elysium. I'll take a fun Elysium. If we get a really, really good one, we can actually get a colonist out of it. Because, you know, word travels. I will still take the increased development and the mood boost that everyone is going to get from that. Looks like we are going to have to pop outside and deal with this here, though. Lelion, that shouldn't be much trouble, right? Where is it going? Yeah, all right, come on. There we go. Done. Oh, wait, what? Okay, two things there. <laughs> the siege has shown up, and there's 13 of them this time. 13. Yeah, that's not great. Also, a wanderer has joined. A network engineer named Bishop has arrived and wants to join the colony. Um, I'd like to postpone it, or just leave it there for now. We'll postpone. Yeah, that's something that we'll come back to, because we need to deal with this problem first. We've got 13. Okay, how well equipped are you? You've got a mixture of things going on. One of you has a minigun turret pack. Okay, you're kind of, you're kind of prepared for this, huh? I think trying to fight them close to here is going to be our best bet. We'll set Isaac up on the side. And our other mate here, Jonathan, will kind of get you over there. And you two, we'll just get you to kind of hide around the corner for now. Same thing with you, Edith. And we'll deal with them when they get closer. Oh, it looks like my... Oh, no. Okay. I misread that. They're sieging us. They are sieging us. That's much more of a problem. You've all got bolt-action rifles. Well, I think in that case, we're going to send the two cataphracts out to see if they can disrupt that because uh yeah I'd, I'd prefer they don't get those mortars off okay oh wow they can already get shots off from there huh yeah okay but so can they just need them to get a little bit closer than they are right now and get lucky with a few shots do enough damage to uh antagonize them into attacking that's the plan here after giggles we go just hang out there. You're in pretty good cover right now. You should be fine. Well, I say that. We are going to need to get a little bit closer, I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go for you. Oh, that's it. <laughs> we got one of them fleeing. That's only one of them. Let's go for Koi now. This minigun is doing some work for us. I'm impressed. 
we'll swap on over to Giggles. And, you know, just stay behind cover. Stay behind cover. There we go. That's Giggles routed. Oh, Isaac's starting to get really peppered now. Let's go for Yaresh. Shotgun's taking him down. Good stuff. I think we can probably just start to pull back. No running and gunning. Just get gone. Isaac, what did I say? Yeah, because, uh... They don't have their mortar up. They're just straight up attacking us now. Isaac, get into cover, thank you. Yeah, we're just going to have them back here for now. Hoping that the enemy are going to try and get a lot closer. That's pretty good. A little bit, and we'll be able to get with that shotgun. Oh, good work. Good work. Got to watch for those that are starting to come around the side. <laughs> I mean, these two cataphracts are kind of handling this by themselves. Oh, although that's not going to last forever. I need you all to get into cover now. Lelion did get striked then. Jonathan, we'll get you two in some pot shots from there if you can. The bolt action rifles are going to be able to outdo us though. Oh, good work, you lot. Okay, we're going to peek our head out here. Take a shot there. Excellent. Isaac, we'll get you doing the same over this side here. Ben, oh, Ben, sorry about that. Let's pull you back there. Oh, uh, yep. <laughs> Ben's down. Ben is down. He's going to bleed out soon. Okay, Jonathan, I need you to head out there. We're going to try and coagulate. And Lillian, we are going to do a long jump, although I really need you to get a bit of a head start here. Come on, come on, a little bit further. One more step will do it. One more step. Oh, okay. You tended Lillian. Coagulate Ben, rather. Thank you, Jonathan. Lillian is up and over. Take him out, take him out. Come on, chase him down. The rest of them are fleeing. Okay, you know what? We might just have to take this so that we don't lose Lillian. Okay. Oh, damn it. Jonathan's down. Okay, yeah, head back. Head back. Edith, release your animals. See if they will be able to do anything here. Otherwise, we're going to get those two heading back now as well. Jump on over, thank you. All right. And let's go do a coagulate on Jonathan. He got peppered with bullets there, but I don't think it's going to be anything that affects them long term. As for Lillian, let's just get you self-tending. Oh, no. Okay, all right, yeah. One of our bears is down. But you'll live. We will make sure of it. And Kin, you're going down. Sinner, do what you need to do. Slash away. I know we're in need of more hemorrhage in here, but we're just going to jump on over and do a quick coagulate. Save you. How are you looking? Okay, 13 and 5. Not great. Let's do another jump. And we'll do a blood feed over here. And we're going to go for two. We'll get you to feed once, and then we'll get you to feed again. The second feed, I think, is going to give us a lot more. Let's see. Ah, no, it's the same amount. But still, that's enough to help. Let's head on over towards Sinner if we can. Okay, here we go, Sinner. You're all right. Coagulate. Done. Jonathan, you're still down, huh? Yeah, so we're going to need Lillian to do that again over here. We'll long jump to get closer. Ah, you won't have the blood necessary. Damn. We'll just start tending. We can save you. And finally, Jonathan, we'll get you making a save here. Bring Ben back inside. We're okay. We're okay. Ah, oh, you lucky bastard. Okay, that's enough medicine. You'll do fine with just regular treatment. As well, Isaac's going to be heading home rather soon. And now after all of that, there is yet another quest that we have here. Another person, a human from the Empire, is wanting our protection. We'll hold off on that one. Expires in 7.1 days. I mean, it's good to have bodies, but we need to recover first of all. And of course, we have Bishop, which we can accept. And we're going to. Bishop, let's have a look at you. David Bishop, network engineer. Okay. And your religion is the Great Legion. That'll have to change. As for your bio, you are a drunken master, you're anxious, and you're a pessimist. I see, but you've got some animal skill, you're actually pretty good at intellectual, and you do have shooting there as well. I think in general, you'll be a rather useful colonist. But that name, that name won't do. No, we're going to need a new one. And that name shall be Jesse Sauce Do. Or just Jesse for short, you know. Welcome to Hexham. And my gosh, what a sight it is. To arrive to. Our guests will be staying with us a little longer before their shuttle arrives, but we've done our duty. And that is a duty that has ensured us yet another colonist as well. At least I'm pretty sure. Ah, and there we go. Our first look at Jesse, who seems to be crawling into that plate armor there. You know what? That's okay. 
We were all a bit beat up, battered and bruised, but we've survived yet another episode and the blood has started to flow. We now have Jonathan as our second Sanguifage and with Jonathan and Lilion now of the blood, they both will be able to share that blood again once their genes regrow. Oh, and to make matters worse, it seems like Ben is suffering from an infection to his torso, something that we will keep a very, very close eye on. But that will be in the next. For now, I would like to thank you for joining me for yet another episode. And hey, look at this place. It's really starting to come along. Look at us. Not a single child died today. That's got to be an improvement, right? Well, for now, I ask you all, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rikon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.